Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In sports history, there are several stadiums that have achieved legendary status, partially for the years they've housed a team, as well as the many memorable or infamous moments that took place there. Well, in baseball, one stadium stands out as the oldest ballpark currently in operation. When it first opened its doors in 1912, William Howard Taft sat, sat in the White House, the Ottoman Empire was on its last legs in the Middle East, and the Titanic had only sunk days earlier. Let's explore the storied history of the oldest Major League Baseball stadium still in operation today, Fenway Park, home of the Boston Red Sox. Now, Fenway Park was constructed in 1912, tucked in the heart of Boston, in an age where, with little automobile traffic, baseball stadiums were usually positioned in the center of town, squeezed in, uh, which is a contrast from today, where many are on the city limits. It was part of a wave of innovation in baseball stadiums, where the stadium infrastructure was built out of concrete and steel instead of wood. This made for a much safer and more enjoyable fan experience, as well as giving the opportunity for these stadiums to last for many years. And over those many years, Fenway has obviously been renovated, but several features give it a certain air of uniqueness. One is the odd dimensions, which many baseball fans love. The short distance in left field, coupled with a cavernous right center that stands 420 feet away from home plate, make for a memorable sight. And of course, the staple of Fenway is the green monster, the 37 foot high wall in left field. That's part of a 1933 renovation and was painted green in 1947. The mystique of the stadium, however, is deeply connected to what happened there over the decades. And Fenway, of course, is home to the Boston Red Sox, one of the most historic and star-crossed teams in American sports. In its first decade, Fenway saw four World Series titles, the first in its inaugural season in 1912 and the last in 1918, behind a dominant pitcher and power hitter named George Herman Ruth, otherwise known as the Babe. Sadly for Red Sox fans, the team sold Babe Ruth to the New York Yankees in 1919, altering the fates of the two franchises for the next 85 years. Thus, Fenway became a place of near misses and almosts for Red Sox fans as they went 86 painful years without a World Series championship. Many of those heartbreaking finishes came at Fenway Park. But in 2004, the Sox broke the curse and won the World Series thanks to an inspiring comeback in the ALCS over the vaunted Yankees. The Sox won two games of that fateful series in Fenway Park, both on walk-off hits, kick-starting a four-game comeback to send them to the World Series, which they also won. They would win another in 2007, however, it was not until 2013, 95 years after their last World Series victory at Fenway, that the team hoisted the World Series trophy in its own stadium, defeating the visiting St. Louis Cardinals in Game 6. In recent years, there have been talks of demolishing the old park, but Red Sox executives seem set on preserving it and keeping it as the home of the old town team for years to come. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.